<clears throat> so, anyways, at this process, uh, I applied for a job to G4 the other day, and uh, I I've been posting in the forums, and I'm actually, um, <laughs> and so in some way, you know, a number of these people know who I am now. Uh, there's Kevin Pereira, Will O'Neill. Um, I don't want to say Martin Sargent, but Olivia Olivia Munn, uh, she emailed me, you know, because Olivia Munn and Layla Kaley, Layla Kaley, they both uh, have responded to me, uh, and, you know, by name, you know, they've sent me, you know, messages, and uh, and there's this guy, Casey, who, real funny guy, you know, a good writer, and just does this thing called Office Jesus, which is hilarious, um, but, uh, so, you know, these guys know who, my name. You know, they know who I am. And there's one guy, Chris Gore, who I, I really dig and like. And, and I was just kind of, you know, th saying something to him. I was like, you know, hey, you know, hey, Chris, careful. You, you don't get out too much on your soapbox. And that's what I was trying to say. Because he was he was preaching about, you know, global warming. And, you know, uh, it was he was talking about Al Gore's DVD, uh, An Inconvenient Truth. And I was like, and he was really, you know, getting on about electric cars. And I was like, you know, hey, hey buddy, careful. You don't want to, you know, you don't want to use your segment as a soapbox. You know, I know you do. I know you have that power, but you, you want to be careful because this is more of a you know this is more of an entertainment show. This is not an infotainment show. You know, and, and you know he got upset because he thought because he thought I was you know criticizing him, and I didn't want him to you know, and I, I apologized to him for that as well. But uh, I didn't want him to think that I wanted to, you know I was trying to tell him like you know, you know, don't do something that will get you fired from this show. Is what I was saying to him, you know, and. Um, and a couple of days ago, I, I actually, I also wrote a letter to Kevin uh, Pereira. Um, and it's really, it's more like, you know, guidance and advice, and, you know, because I'm like, you know what, buddy? I've seen so many bright stars like you, you know, and that's, oh my God, I can't believe it. I'm old enough that I've, I've worked with guys. And, and there are some really sharp kids that I worked with over in Hawaii you know, and elsewhere. And in some cases, they just got into bad stuff. You know, they, they let their vices take over and it just ruined them, you know. And uh, that's why I wrote, you know, Kevin a letter. I would say, like, you know, look. Just, you know, be smart about what you're doing. Don't, you know, because you didn't go to college or you, didn't, you took some college, you know, but you dropped out and, and you got this gig going on for you. And I know you've been successful, but, you know, you drink a lot. Don't, you know, don't let the drinking get to you. You know, and that's, you know, that's kind of part of what I'm getting at. But it's also like, you know, look, just don't overdo your life. Don't screw yourself up in some way or another. Because that could totally happen in his case. You know, he, he's a young, uh, rising up and coming celebrity. And, uh, and like I said,